Cheers, man. Cheers. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is exactly not the kind of sake that I like, but yeah. I knew you'd like it, so I got it for you. Yeah. No, this 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 is definitely. Ooh. Yeah. So I got I got to show this to you. So this is like the mm. uragasumi thing that we had before. Mm -hmm. but this is um. Let me see if it says it says up here. It says honjozo. Yeah. So that hon. Jozo, the basically what this is is it's um more or less like cheap cheaper sake. But what <laughs> yeah, it, what yeah. they do is they they put in they call um jozo alcohol, which is yeah. like distilled alcohol in it to yeah. kind of get it to a specific alcohol content. Yeah. So it's cheaper, but it has more of a punch to it. Yeah. Which I know you like. Yeah. It. I'm a big whiskey fan. Yeah. I love drinking whiskey. So yeah. like that distilled alcohol kind yeah. of taste is is something i i really enjoy yeah so so as long as you can whenever you're looking at sake if you can find this hon mm -hmm. on it then you know it's going to have that in it oh okay so, That's yeah good as long enough. as it doesn't say if it doesn't say jimmai on mm. it then it definitely has that other alcohol in it but mm. yeah I'm I, I, I mean i definitely like jimmai yeah but onjozo. yeah jimmai is just a little bit I, they, stronger they they both have their own unique taste okay so and I, I i do appreciate that so like like when would you when would you like drink this versus like a gym mai? i don't know if this is true yeah but at least how i feel i feel like this is more of a drink that i would enjoy like on a picnic or something like out out outside. just kind of relaxing okay. outside yeah okay and what about like that Jumai that we had before? Because we had the same one, just a Jumai version. I I think I think that would be something that I enjoy more, like meals. Yeah, that okay. kind of thing. Yeah, I get it. Like this, That's this weird. feels like a I want to get drunk out in a park, <laughs> like Hanami style. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's it's definitely got that kick to it. Mm. So yeah, I have to be careful this time too. But anyways, Austin, today, yes, that was really forceful. We we're talking about <laughs> TV in Japan. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Yeah, it's going to be a I've fun been, topic, man. I've been looking forward to this because yeah. I have so much to share about this. Japanese television is pretty insane. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, so I was I was thinking about this mm -hmm. on the train ride over here because uh, this, this is such a like a wide topic and there's so much that I want to talk about here. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I was thinking about... Well, uh, let's, let's see this. Okay. Well, how did you feel the first time you saw Japanese TV? Um, do you know Do you know who Jackson Pollock is? Yeah. Okay. You know about his painting? Yeah, like the paintings like are all like splatter, splatter or painting. whatever. I I feel like that's a really good like analogy to Japanese it, it television. Make a lot of sense. Yeah. Because there's just so much. Like, if you turn on television here and you just, like, go mm -hmm. to, like, the variety show, right? Yeah. Which is, like, kind of what most television is here in Japan. Yeah. Um, there is just so much going on mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. you, you'll you usually have, like, some kind of piece that they're doing, like, a, like a, kind of like a news story on. Yeah. Um, and there will be, like, a million things written all over mm -hmm. the TV. There's usually, like, a small box to get, like, a person's impression yeah, on what, there. Yeah, like watching the people watching. Yeah, and then there's, like, voices just nonstop, yeah. like, oh, my God, now this, and whoa, what's going on here? Like, yeah. all that going yeah. on. And then there will be, like, you know, brief... Um, brief moments where like you'll go to commercials and then like we have like the whole yeah. thing going on with commercials i and... do commercials we can talk about that later <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it's like yeah i really feel like it's kind of like a jackson pollock painting yeah. where there, there, there's this there's way too much yeah. to the point where you you have two options yeah. you either like use it as like background noise yeah. when you're doing something or you just focus on like a specific thing dude you know you, what i mean you know it's funny you say that because like with um with american tv i normally put it on for like background noise or something mm. i did that all the time in the states but i cannot ignore japanese tv i there's, i actually do agree with that there's there's too much going on like like before i would like be drawing like when yeah. i was a kid and i was still drawing a lot of pictures i i had put on the tv while i was drawing and it was fine i try yeah. to do that now no <laughs> I just start looking at the TV and I stop whatever I'm doing. It's yeah. like crazy magical. It is pretty in absorbing. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's what really interests me is um, just how influential the TV yeah. is here. Like when I think of, when I think of like pop culture in America, yeah. 
I think of like movies and stuff, mm-hmm. right? It's like everybody knows who movie stars are in America. You go yeah. like, oh, who's your favorite movie star? Oh, I like this person, this person, this yeah. person. I like this director. Um, in Japan, I mean, the movies are still popular here, but I, I really feel like a lot, like everything's influenced by television. Yeah. You know, like television stars are really famous here. Yeah. Yeah, like all the all the celebrities that you see in the ads are TV stars, not necessarily. Oh, 100%. Yeah, they're not necessarily actors in yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's funny that you say that. So, you know, you mentioned before that like the main kind of TV show here is the variety scene, yeah. right? And I remember like someone asked me, well, what's variety in English? And I would yeah. say variety show, but... You know, in the States, I'd never seen a variety show. You had like yeah. a talk show, which was similar. Mm. But, you know, it's funny. I um, I did some research into this, actually. Variety shows were all the rage in the 70s. Oh, were and they? In the 80s in the States. Like the Sonny and Cher show was a variety show. And it was Sonny and Cher doing performances and talking with me. It had a little bit of everything. And it wasn't yeah. just mainly talking. Yeah, okay. And it's funny because it's like Japan took that format. And just went crazy with it. Because like, <laughs> yeah. like what you said too about how there's everything going on in there. Yeah. You know, if I had to if I had to compare TV in Japan to like an experience that I have here, yeah. it would be like I'm walking I'm walking in Shibuya. That's how yeah. it feels like because there's 100%. all these signs and things coming out. Yeah. Yeah, like it's it's funny because like what you said, you know, you have the main shot, then you have on the side some like a square of a guest on the variety TV show. If they're watching like a TV show yeah. or another segment, you always have a box of the, them watching, so you can see their reactions. Yeah. Then you have subtitles everywhere that yeah. are like everything that they say. Yeah, and it's just like so busy. There's there's so much going on. I I will say that um, I I enjoy watching it more than American TV. Do for sure. Um, like I. If, if, when I'm back in the States, I absolutely never watch TV. Yeah. There's there's just nothing I found in, interesting. Um, whereas here, kind of, I think I think you brought a really interesting point earlier when you said, like, you always find yourself focused yeah. if the TV's on. Yeah. I think it's, like, purposely made. It's, it's yeah. like, sugar. It's, like, Dude. visual sugar. <laughs> yeah, they, they you know, know I mean? those attention hooks. And yeah. They, yeah. They just took it. Like, yeah. it's it's kind of, like what I see a lot in Japanese culture where they take something yeah, and while the rest of the world or that the original culture that made that moves on, yeah. they keep it and they make it like 10 times better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, it's like the same thing with, um, with tea, like, you know, matcha mm. originally matcha was the only way people drink tea. Oh, was it? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. And Japan got it in like the 900s, like the Heian period. Right. Yeah. And then, China moves on to other things <laughs> yeah. and Japan still has like matcha like that's the main thing you know yeah and it's just it's it's funny because we see matcha as like a Japanese thing but yeah. even sakura originally came from China too but they became super big in Japan yeah like everything mm. like even even like the traditional tatami mats from J- from Japan those come from like Tang Dynasty China which was like in the 700s <laughs> and they moved on yeah. but Japan still has it yeah. today yeah it's like <laughs> It's like amazing. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really cool, I think. Mm. But dude, like, yeah, it's funny though that you say that. So I think in the States, well, there are like how many channels? Like 600, 1,000 now? Oh, God. There's so I many. have no idea. Right? Yeah. But in Japan, there's like, up until recently, there's been like five channels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every channel that you watch, there's something that just gets you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I, I don't watch TV now, mm-hmm. um, but occasionally I'll, I'll flip it on because yeah, yeah. I, um everyone has access to yeah. TV. You're supposed to pay for it, but Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. You're supposed to pay for it if you have a TV set in your house. That's that's an interesting we should, thing we yeah. should talk about. Yeah. It's I I think it's uh, very similar to the UK. I think okay. they have that system going on too where you have like a TV license. Yeah. Um it's it's kind of the same thing here, but yeah. uh if if you're if you're a foreigner here, you yeah. can kind of get away with like not paying for it because mm-hmm. like the guy will come knock on your door and be like, "Hey, you need to sign up for this," and you're just like, "I don't yeah. know what you're saying." Yeah, so basically, <laughs> so. basically, what it is because I actually have a very interesting story to share about this oh, yeah. when I when I first moved here. But basically, if you have so NHK is like public broadcasting the Nihon Hoso Kabushiki Gaisha, whatever it's called, yeah, like the Japan Broadcasting Company, yeah, and so it's free for everyone. But technically, you have to pay. Yes. So, like, if you have a TV, 
you're supposed to pay the fee or whatever. Yes. So they'll have they'll send people to your door mm. to see if you have a TV or not. Mm. And if they find that you have a TV, then you have to pay for the N- the NHK fee, even if you don't watch NHK. Mm. Um, now it's kind of weird because like you can say no and then not let them in your house and they'll go away. Yeah. Like I, it's a really weird system. Yeah. But I remember back, I didn't know about the system, but back yeah. in 2013, I had a guy come to my door. He rang and he said, he said, NHK, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? NHK is at my door? Hmm. Holy crap, NHK is at my door? Why? So I open the door and the guy comes in. It's, it's a very small one room apartment. Yeah. He's just like, oh, it be nice. Nah. Oh, you don't have a TV? I was like, no. Yeah. Okay. So she must. I'm like, wait, what? What just happened? I didn't know what happened until I asked my Japanese friend. They're like, oh yeah, that guy was gonna collect money. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of, I don't know. Like, I I, I don't really watch TV because you know you know we have we have so many internet yeah, yeah. options like YouTube, Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Like, I there's just no reason to watch TV. Yeah. But every once in a while, I'll, I'll flip it on because yeah. I I do have some shows that that oh, I so want to hear about. Those, I'll, yeah. I'll explain. So, um. I am a sucker for game shows. Okay. So um, there's there's one uh, question show, which is, uh, it's called Torayo. Torayo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so they take uh, like current students, and I think there's some, sometimes they have graduates mm-hmm. from Todai, so oh, Tokyo University. Todayo, okay. So yeah, like, yeah. okay. And um, it's it's just a question game yeah. show. Where, yeah. where it's like, yeah, you know, they'll ask him like a variety. Mm-hmm. And it's... Um, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's all hyped up. It's mm-hmm. like these students are are taking it's 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 ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh so these students, their major is yeah. game show questions. Their major is that's game show. that's what their major is. What? Yeah. So wait, what? Like they're 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 specializing in answering game show questions. At Todai? Yeah, 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 Tokyo University, yeah, the yeah, number yeah. one university in Japan. They yeah. have a major for. Well, I, I, I don't know if it's exactly a major, but okay. that's that's like they what they're specializing in. Okay, that's what they're specializing in because basically you have to have you have to know a lot. Yeah. to take to be in this show. Yeah, right. It's like it's, prepping for Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's basically, um, but it, it's a really interesting show. Yeah. Like where they're asking like these really complicated questions and everything and i i i, I get a fun yeah. time because you can participate like it's really weird because oh the yeah, TV's with the TV up, remotes. yeah you can like send Dude, we in. need to talk about that yeah so like i only watch tv during the holidays because mm. that's when i go to natsumi's parents house and they have a tv there that they put on all the time mm. but yeah can you explain how the remotes work and stuff so basically um i i don't really know exactly okay. how they work but basically here's here's what you can do yeah. um so the your your television when you when you're hooked up to cable here is um it's hooked up where they have like i don't know if it's like a tracking system but you're yeah. able to like in in sometimes in shows you're able to participate in the show yeah. so like for example with this game show they'll put the question up on the board mm-hmm. and you can like type in your answer yeah and um it's really weird because you can participate yeah in TV here mm-hmm. And yeah. that's that's just not something I've ever been exposed to in my life. Yeah, um, like in the in the so in Niigata, right? So mm-hmm. when I go there in the morning, um, news broadcast thing that they show at like seven in the morning, whatever. They'll they'll have like what they call a junk poi with like a like a rock paper scissors thing, oh. where they'll say, "Okay, guys, we have our daily junk in, Okay, and there yeah. are three colored buttons on the remote. They're like either it's red, yellow, or green. Yeah, pick your button, and mm-hmm. then like everyone who gets the right answer will like get a prize or something yeah i don't know how it works but yeah the 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 show that i the show um that i watched does the same thing yeah. where like if you get a certain amount of questions right yeah you'll be entered in like this this uh like contest to Man. try again and okay. win prizes so it's 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 really kind of interesting how um like some tv shows have evolved to to be more yeah participatory here yeah 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 you know, one so one TV show that I really like, and actually I spent the New Year New Year's in the States, so I wasn't able to see this. Mm. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour for you. We're we're in Japan, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, every so it's funny during the New Year because the New Year is really when everybody in Japan just takes a week off and yeah. they go home and they watch TV. Yeah. Like most people, <laughs> that, yeah. that's all that they do: watch TV. It's, it's, it's so amazing. True. It's so I, true. I remember the first time I spent New Year's with Natsumi. 
I was like, great, how long are we here for? A week. Great, what are we going to do? We're just going to relax. I'm like, okay, cool. Because I thought we'd actually go do stuff. No, yeah. it's like sitting, watching TV, taking naps, eating mochi, falling back asleep, watching TV. Like you never move. Yeah. It's just, yeah, but anyways, so like one of the TV shows that I really like is from there. Yeah. And I forget what the full name is, but the last part of it is called Kak- Kakutsuke, mm-hmm. where they have a bunch of celebrities, like pretty popular celebrities, yeah. come together and they basically have to guess which item is the most valuable or the real deal. So they'll like blindfold taste system and have them yeah. have real, um, real caviar, fake caviar, and then like canned tuna or something yeah. like that. And they have to pick it. <laughs> yeah. Or they'll have them listen to like million dollar violin versus like a ten thousand dollar violin or something like that, and hear the difference and guess. But it's like I showed it to my dad, and my dad at first was like, "Dude, this is so stupid! Like, who's gonna like it?" And then yeah. an hour later, he's like, "This is I, Arthur. Can you turn this off? I need to go, but I can't yeah. stop watching." So that's 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 that is I I think that is a really great way to describe TV here because like if. If you're just exposed to like little snippets of it, you're like, this is so dumb. Like yeah. you go on you go on YouTube and you always if you type in like Japanese TV, yeah. it'll always like fill in like crazy Japanese yeah, TV yeah. show. And you watch this and you're just like, How can anyone be entertained by this? This yeah. is the most ridiculous thing ever. But it's like if you tune into it over time, yeah. you realize it's like Oh my god, this is so yeah. addicting. <laughs> Dude, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, cuz it's the same thing. When I first watched it, I'm like, who's going to watch this? This is so stupid. And mm. then 2 hours later, I'm thinking, why am I still watching this? <laughs> Someone turn this off. Yeah. I can't turn this yeah. off. Um, like I've got a couple more shows that I'm really into. Yeah. Um, so usually like on the variety TV shows, um, they'll have uh like food eating contests. Oh, and yeah. I I am really into food. Yeah, I will. I will tell you. I have. I have developed an obsession with watching food stuff. Okay. Um. Oh, probably over the past two years. Do you like, also watch that mukbang stuff, like the Korean people eating? Sometimes. Foods? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm really into that. Uh. <laughs> I from specifically for me, I yeah. love meal prepping. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I. I oh, oh, you God, told me about I'm this before. I'm obsessed with meal prepping YouTube channels. Okay. I love watching people make food. Um. But they have eating contests here, and um. There's, it's, it's, it's kind of really interesting that they've, Mm -hmm. they've, they've taken people who have this like rare, uh, body condition Mm -hmm. where their, their stomach doesn't, it doesn't digest food. Yeah. Yeah. And so because of that, they're able to eat a lot. Yeah. Like, cause it just sends it through. Yeah. Um, and so they, they'll, they'll specifically find people with that condition and put them on the show. And then the the entire show is it's them eating like. 15,000 wow. calories of ramen. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so insane, but I love it. I love it yeah. so much. Um, and then uh, another TV show is um, uh, Skato Japan. Skato Japan. Oh, is that you know the one where they one? have like the stories? Yeah, yeah. So first we have to descri- tell people what Skato means. So, so Skato is basically this situation where it's just like, it's a situation that sucks. Yeah. It's it's either like there's there's been a ring of bad luck where you're yeah. just put into this horrible situation or you're you're having to deal with somebody who's just mm-hmm. like completely unreasonable or a horrible mm-hmm. boss. Like really simple stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And something happens mm-hmm. that intervenes with that with the person experiencing that and the situation is fixed. Yeah. And then you're, it, it describes your emotional. Yes. Like, and it's just like, ah. Oh, it's like, yes. oh, I'm so happy. I wish something had happened to this person in this situation. It's like, oh, it's finally done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know. Do you know what schadenfreude is? Mm-mm. Okay, well, it's a German word. That's very similar to that. Really? But it's like, it's basically schadenfreude means um, happiness at someone else's expense. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because we, we, we don't have a term for that in English. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. there's... There's no... Actually, it's become an English word because there's no term for it in English. Oh, so, has it? Yeah, I mean, in like the philosophers, like the, the people in the ivory towers know that word, you know? <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. But no, I remember like, because I remember watching that. And then they have like a scatto meter where the they have a bunch of celebrities watching because they always do. Yeah. And they get to vote on how much they feel. So like the scatto <laughs> yes, meter is either 100% yes, or yes. like they listen to these stories. But the thing is, it's Japan. And if you don't, if you don't, 
show like that you understand how the person's feeling yeah then it's super rude so everyone is always showing the oh i feel scatto this yeah time. you always have like all the celebrity girls are like oh you got the but they have like, to be <laughs> that way it, it's funny so like like so one one thing kind of similar to that is you know there's so many shows about food not cooking like in in america i feel like there's lots of cooking shows yeah. or whatever but in japan it's literally a daily thing where they'll have some celebrities go to a part of japan and yes. eat the food and it's it's funny because like <laughs> like i like they always have it where they get the they get the plate then they have the zoom in on the plate <laughs> and then the the people they take the chopsticks they lift it up for about a minute so that the camera can zoom in yeah. and you can see the chopsticks are shaking a little bit cuz they're holding it <laughs> yeah. And then they eat it, and then the camera zooms in on their face, and they're just like, "Oh God, this is so good!" Oh <laughs> shit, it's so good. Like, I I really wish one day someone would say, oh, "This food's okay." Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's you know? the thing, because it, it's it's never something that's like really insane. Yeah, right. It's like, oh yeah, we went to this place over in Kanagawa that's like kind of famous for ramen. Yeah, and we're gonna try this like tonkatsu ramen. Yeah, you know. And it's just like I mean, you can get that anywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's like what what village in Japan doesn't doesn't yeah. have like something that they claim that they have the best? It's like yeah. you know, it's like Italians with pizza. Yeah, right. You know, but it's it's so funny because they they'll they'll go to these places and kind of like you were saying they'll like do like the close ups and everything, and if you really stop and think about it, it's like I mean this dude, this dude's just eating ramen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> just just <laughs> eating food. But everyone's always like, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. And the, like, because that's all you can say. You yeah. can't say anything else. Yeah. But it's just like, they're like, per personally, I like that because I, I think there's. I so enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's so many shows. Oh, uh, thank here, you, man. There's so many out. shows in Japan which focus on how great Japan is and yeah. how, like different parts of Japan. Like, okay, so in, in the States, did you ever see. A TV show called Made in America. I've yes, actually. Yeah, years yeah. ago on the travel. It, it was really fun. I loved it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in Japan, that the Japanese version of that is mm. like every day yeah. on every channel. And I I I'm happy that that exists mm -hmm. because I I'll, I encounter this problem in my school all the time. Yeah, like you know I'll be in English class and you know I'll talk to like. Um, and some of my students and everything are like, where do you want to go? Oh, I want to go to America. I want to go to Europe because blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. It seems like such a nice place. But um, when I when I talk to my students, like I don't hear a lot of people talking about why they like the country that they live in, why they yeah. like living in Japan. So I'm, I'm happy that, you know, some form of media exists. It's like, hey, you know, this is a pretty cool place. Yeah. Like, look, look what we have going on here. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, there's another there's another TV show. Yeah. Sorry to quickly no, no, change keep on going, topic. Keep on going. There's another TV show I love. Yeah. Do you ever? I, I I don't know the name of it, but this is a really famous one. Do you do you know the one where they hang around the train station and they ask if they can go to people's apartments? Yes. Oh man, that's yeah. a good one. That's a really strange Dude, one. I I feel like that that's like the roulette table of yeah. TV shows because it's just like I you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, when you, when you first start out that show, because you'll they like they are very honest. Yeah. They will they will film whatever is happening. Yeah, like if they go to a guy's apartment and he's trashed and yeah. he just lives like a bum, they will show that. Yeah, they will straight up show. It's like, yep, this is this guy's name. His apartment looks like yeah. crap. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they I yeah. they they went to this. They, there was this one drunk guy that they showed up. Um, and talk to them. They're like, "Yeah, can we come home with you?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I I have a house that's like pretty close to here." And they're yeah. like, "You have a house this close mm -hmm. to the train station? Like, that's a pretty big deal." Yeah. Okay. And they go, and this guy's living in like some like abandoned shack. <sighs> like, I I I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. Like this place didn't have floors. The floors really? were actually like rotted away. Really. And um. And you would think initially, like, okay, they were showing this to make fun of the guy, but um, the guy got some publicity from it, and people volunteered, like, and rebuilt yeah. his house. He was wow. a really old guy. He was, yeah, like, yeah. you know, in, in his 80s. Like, yeah. he was obviously incapable of taking care of himself. But yeah. he got a lot of help because of that publicity, and oh, that wow. was really cool. 
Um, and then like there will be other stories where it's like just mm-hmm. a regular salary man and he comes home mm-hmm. and is like, here's my wife and kids. Yeah. You know, and every once in a while they'll have like a crazy person. <laughs> like, yeah. There was this one girl who was like selling um like figurines. Okay. And they went back to her house and, you know, it turns out she was like talking to like stuffed animals and everything. <laughs> like they, they that was a whole experience. That's pretty scary, man. Yeah. It like there's such a wide variety of people yeah. that you'll see on there. So it makes the show really entertaining. Um yeah. but a lot of it a lot of the publicity that a lot of the people yeah. get here, it's like I I feel like there's not a like when you see people in that situation, mm-hmm. there it the show's not making fun of them. Yeah. It's like, hey, look. Oh, okay, let's all yeah. have our laugh, but like this person needs help. And then yeah. people will go in and help them. And yeah. so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really cool how like like we said before that there's only like there's very few channels in, mm. in Japan compared to the States. Mm. But because of that, each channel has a lot more uh impact yeah. with it, you know? Yeah. But I mean, nowadays more and more people are starting to watch YouTube. So now even like yeah. TV shows are moving to YouTube or whatever. But yeah. but up until recently, yeah, it was just all that stuff on TV. Yeah, absolutely. Well it's it's kind of funny how uh social media is like impacted tv because now yeah so okay here's another thing we can talk about yeah um so back to the variety show thing yeah um all all of the like the main people on the show they all have like this really distinct personality that they're trying to imitate yeah um so like you'll have you'll have like the old the old og son like the old grandpa guy you'll have like the young kind of cute girl you'll have like the comedian Mm -hmm. person um and they all they all develop these personas. Yeah, it's it's not the, this isn't like normal people that are mm-hmm. talking. These are like really um, kind of characterized. Yeah. yeah, like they uh, make themselves into a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it goes back. So in Japan, you call that genojin, right? Mm-hmm. And so genojin literally means like artistic person, you mm. know. But yeah, it's it's crazy just how so many people are getting so famous from that you know like yeah. the most famous celebrities in japan are these tv stars and it's like well do they host their own show no mm. are they in movies no are they known for any like special skill yeah no what are they known for oh uh, they're just like interesting personalities that show up on all the tv shows yeah. and it's like oh interesting what's 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 the uh, i forget i forget her name um, Paris Hilton? No, 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 no. Okay. No. The the really the really famous transgender person here. Matsuko Deluxe. Matsuko. Yeah. Matsuko Deluxe. Yes. Yeah. Matsuko. Like that's a she's a perfect example. Yeah. Of a person who like she she is just a TV person. Yeah. She shows up and just gives reactions and kind of gives opinions on stuff and that's it. Yeah. And now <laughs> like, now she has her own TV show. It's yeah. like Matsuko Deluxe at night where she walks the streets and then she finds interesting <laughs> businesses at night, whatever. Yeah. No, but what's interesting about Matsuko, right? Yeah. Is like, it, it's really funny when you think about it because I, I remember before Matsuko got famous, there was another um, very famous, almost like androgynous. Um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. 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 yeah and so. But then Matsuko came along, and Matsuko is like this mountain yes. of a person. Like, yes. like seriously, probably like how many four hundred pounds or something. That and I, from I, I mean, I've never seen her in real life, but like, she looks pretty tall. She yeah, she looks pretty tall. Yeah, but it's funny because like she dresses in these dresses. Yeah, but she has a really deep voice, and so she has no, <laughs> yeah. no, no desire to change. So yeah. when it's like this, this giant dress wearing like mountain, that's then like. Oh, this food is really good. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. but but she's played that character really well and like hmm. super. She's successful. loved. Yeah, absolutely. She everyone loves her. Yeah. Um. So it's 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 just interesting how these characters kind of yeah. take over and they're they're just really distinct. Yeah. Um. And y- you kind of brought something up that's kind of interesting of how it's it's not tied to the actual person. Yeah. It's. There, there is a slot that's yeah. filled, and yeah. once that person retires or decides not to do anything There's anymore, another, person, another person comes in and like takes over that character. It, it kind of reminds me of like like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Sure. Like, when I when I looked at the do you, do you, like because when I looked at Cardi B at first I was like why does Mick, Nicki Minaj look so weird and then I was like oh wait no they're different people. <laughs> 
because to me they were like really similar, right? They yeah, kind of had this. Yeah. They kind of feel the same. Yeah, spot. or or uh, what's what's her face? Uh, Madonna and um, uh, oh my god, no one can replace Madonna, man. No, 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 no. She's been replaced. It's uh, yeah, I've been drinking too much. I forgot everyone's name. Um, who am, who am I thinking of? I have no idea, dude, because no one can replace Madonna for me, man. Oh, man. Like a surgeon. No, I'm just kidding. See, this is, I should have ate lunch. Now I'm getting drunk off this. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Uh, she's got like the, ma, 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 like the bad romance song. Oh, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. There we go. Lady uh, Gaga replaced Madonna. Absolutely. Well, man. Kind of, she okay, she okay, didn't okay, born of. this way. Yeah. You've heard that song, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's literally Madonna. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can, I can see, I get it. I, I guarantee, I, it. I guarantee you, yeah. you ask somebody who's 10 years younger than us. Yeah. They have no idea who Madonna is. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, Not a clue. Yeah. They know Lady Gaga. Okay. But like that that character's been replaced. It's the same thing in Japan. Yeah. Where where all these characters are getting replaced. Yeah. Um which is interesting though, because so you were talking about how your favorite TV personnel, your favorite gay nonjin, refuses to be on TV anymore. Yeah. Do you know Do you remember who I'm talking about? The person who's in all the the T V advertisements? Mm. We've talked about this. Lola. Lola. Yeah, yeah. She's gotten too big for TV. Dude, she's like, she's like, what, a quarter Russian, a quarter something, and then half Japanese or something? She's uh, Indian. She, Indian? She's half Indian. Wow, okay. Uh, or, or Pakistani? I, I don't remember yeah. exactly. But um, yeah, yeah. She, I, I wanted, like, one of her parents is, like, from India or okay. something. Okay, okay. Um, she's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, yeah. there's no, there's no contesting yeah. that but um, now she's on all the advertisements but she doesn't show up on tv but anymore. yeah yeah she's that just happened in the past couple of years because like i mean i want to say like four or five years ago mm-hmm. um she was in all the variety shows yeah and now and now she's you know i, but, I guess you just you just got to get a contract with like you know a, a liquor brand and yeah you don't have to do anything for well, the rest of your no, life because so with her though it was kind of interesting because she said uh, this is just secondhand knowledge i didn't actually read yeah. the first stuff but from what I heard, people were trying to force her into this role that she did not want to play. Oh, really? And so she decided, hey, I don't need the money, yeah. so I'm not going to play this role anymore. And yeah. then, what's her name? Like Kiko or whatever, like the like the person who's in the Panasonic commercials. Oh, like, yeah, It's yeah, not yeah. even Japanese. She's like half Korean, half yeah. like something. Yeah. Like she kind of filled in the slot a little bit. Yeah. But. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, no. So I really, I really respect lola yeah for that yeah but dude, there's I, a reason why i have a crush on <laughs> <laughs> i feel i feel like we've we've talked a lot about this tv topic yeah man so how about we end it here yeah sounds great awesome man i i don't know what we're going to talk next time i have to check the list but we'll oh man don't worry about it there, we, we'll, we'll see you next time. we got we got stuff it's like a revolver yeah we got, we got the whole pistol loaded with different topics yeah awesome man